Hi guys, welcome to Office Blokes Reacts. I'm Office Bloke Dave. I'm Office Bloke Mike. I'm Office Bloke Daz. And collectively, we are the Office Bloke. We are yes. the Office Blokes indeed. One of the NFL reactions we did was from the channel KTO. Mm. And we've got to give a special shout out to KTO. Everyone yep. head over to that channel. Yes. Link in the description. Subscribe, like, all the good stuff. Because... Yep. It was great. Yeah. Yeah. And a lot of people in the comments have said this guy turns out really good content. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, yeah the one we did play. last time was good content, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Really yeah it good. was great. So uh, we're going to go for the most massive quarterback in NFL history. It was the Lawrence no, Taylor one off this channel, the most wasn't it? Massive. I think it was, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know who this is. Again, I, the I'm. The most massive quarterback. I don't know who it could be. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure. The first thing about it. I'm learning off some of these reactions yeah. quarterback, spot. quarterbacks are usually a lean uh, athletic sort of like uh, well, they're the fast ones they're the ones that throw and you know, they're the ones yeah. that are calling the, the plays that, you know, with the coaches right. sort of thing so it's yeah so to have someone yeah. who's massive I've never seen a big no, I've never seen a huge quarterback usually anyway. fairly like lean and lithe aren't yeah. you know, you know mm. fairly sort of athletic and not too yeah. bulky are they so uh, let's see yeah let's have a look and Rex Grossman is someone they've looked at, apparently, Tyler Thigpen. But somebody raised their hand on Twitter and tweeted out a photograph of himself as a North Kentucky River monster in lime green, saying, I look good in green. And he's also played in the New York uh, football market with the Giants. You're about to witness the man who makes Big Ben look small. <laughs> So, in my video about David Tyree, here he is jogging up the field after that amazing catch. Well, the first person he runs into is the backup quarterback. That man was Jared Lorenzen, aka the hefty lefty. Hefty By the way, lefty. this dude is literally the Jackie Moon of indoor football. I'll explain that later. Jared Lorenzen played college ball at the University of Kentucky. He was actually the predecessor to the former number one overall pick, Tim Couch. The hefty lefty's freshman year, he weighed in at 308 pounds before the season, and the coach wouldn't allow him to play until he was under 268 pounds. He eventually slimmed down, and four years later, he would go on to break a bunch of school passing records, but it wasn't enough to get the man drafted. He did sign as an undrafted free agent for the New York Giants. When he signed, he was a big dude at the time, 6 foot 4, 285. You don't see too many quarterbacks weighing in at that size. I mean, Jamarcus Russell was only 260. Well, his career in the NFL didn't amount to much. He does have a Super Bowl ring, but as far as his playing time in his NFL career, his very first... Do you get a Super Bowl ring for going there? Do you have, to, think do you have in, to win? I think he was in the squad, wasn't he? And yeah, I think, I think like if you win, you, win you do, it, don't yeah. you? But so he was in a winning squad, yeah. and then he yeah. got a ring because of it. Right. That's it. Okay, yeah. NFL play was a QB sneak on third and one. His second career play the exact same thing <laughs> he was basically put out there to move the pile and so eli manning wouldn't get hurt he only played in four nfl games his passing stats for his career he was only four of eight for 28 yards no touchdowns or interceptions pardon the bad quality but the play of his career was probably this He's fast, isn't he? Yeah, the quarterbacks don't normally put in blocks or After anything. After the Giants won the yeah. Super Bowl, they ended up cutting the Renz in. The biggest problem was he couldn't keep his weight under control. Everybody knows Coach Coughlin. He's kind of stickler about some certain things. Well, I got a funny story. Finally, we get our food at the end of the day. I get, we get ourselves some big old chicken breast, fried chicken, mashed potatoes. And they got them in bags for us. Well, I pick up my bag and I'm walking back out the locker room and Coach happened to be walking by the same time I was. Grabbed my bag, looked at me, laughed, told me I wasn't allowed to have it. I was too big. Tom Coughlin, the Giants' coach, had weight limits for every player. The fine would be $400 a day for every pound they went over. Lorenzen's wow. limit was 292. Weigh-ins were on Friday, so Lorenzen wouldn't eat on Thursday. He would spit in a bottle all day to get rid of water weight. And on Friday morning, he would put on five shirts and a hoodie plus two pairs of shorts and two pairs of sweatpants. He would then bake in a sauna and basically kill himself on an elliptical machine. And he would barely make weight. After the Giants cut him... That's what a lot of fighters do, isn't it? <laughs> got like sweatsuits and they go in a sauna on yeah, a treadmill. Yeah, a few pounds. Like, like, yeah. But he's a unit, isn't he? He is a big lad, isn't he? Almost yeah. 300 pounds. Yeah. yeah. Oh, is it just that he's being played in the wrong position, do you think? Well, I don't think you choose your position as such. You know, you... you 
It's like me saying to you in, in English football, you know, you should be a defender, not hmm. not centre forward, but you're a short, fat centre forward who can score 30 goals a game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know I what think I mean? usually, you'd be like, you're a centre forward, you yeah. can't just go to defence. A lot of times in team sports, you are sometimes, a lot of the time, certainly when you're younger, you are chosen for your stature as mm. to where you play. Yeah. Normally, in our football, you know, if you're like six foot, something like that, you're playing centre back, yeah. you're playing at the back, or if you're small and nippy, you're playing on the wing or something mm. like that. So, I don't know, yeah, this guy looked like he was always big, doesn't it? You know, from, yeah. from the early days, uh, you'd probably, looking at him, you'd probably think, mm, should be in defence. But, but he's pretty quick. When we've he seen him quick running, he's well, pretty quick. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, he's got a good yeah. arm for the for the to be a quarterback at the levels yeah. he's played at through college. Or Big whatever. hands as well. Because when he's yeah. running, he's just holding the ball in one hand. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> yeah. The Colts looked to give him a chance, but when he stepped on the scale, he weighed in at 303 pounds. Cam Newton weighs about 50 pounds lighter than that, and the average NFL alignment weighs only 10 pounds heavier than he did at the time. Well, he never played for the Colts, so his NFL career was over. But this is where the story really gets interesting. Here is where Jared Lorenzen relates to Jackie Moon. Even if you don't know who that is, it's still pretty funny. In 2011, the Ultimate Indoor Football League was trying to make a name for itself. So the dude became a GM of the Northern Kentucky River Monsters. And while he was putting together his team, he was having a hard time finding a quarterback. Well, the GM of the River Monsters would also be suiting up as the team's quarterback. 14 games and 81 touchdowns later, he was named the league MVP, and shortly after this dominant season, he was named commissioner of the league. Wow. Imagine a Roger Goodell, Jerry Jones, Matt Ryan hybrid. I mean, it is only a semi-pro league, but it's still pretty crazy. Honestly, that would be a pretty sweet gig. To be honest, the Pillsbury throw boy could move. He was pretty <laughs> new, but he got huge after his NFL career. He was listed on the team's roster at 320 pounds, yet every single report I read online said he weighed a lot more than that. He apparently hadn't stepped on a scale since he was in the NFL a few years back. Sadly, later on, the hefty lefty's career would abruptly end after suffering an injury. But his legend lives on as the heaviest quarterback to ever play in the NFL. When he played for the Giants and they played in a stadium he'd never been to, he would take a ball in warm-ups and fire it into the upper deck. He hoped somebody up there would remember him. <laughs> As a college football Hall of Famer for his accolades at Kentucky, and after going viral for his highlights for the River Monsters, he will definitely... Big to be fair though, he can play. He can, he, he can definitely play. I mean, you know what it's like as well playing English football. I yeah. do. There's some big units that play and they're oh, all, yes. sometimes they play. <laughs> yeah. They know how to play centre circle bobs. They don't move yeah. around the centre circle, but they yeah. know what, they control the game. Yeah, I've, I've seen a few like that over years where they've been big guys, but the touch and even some of them have yeah. been absolutely yeah. unbelievable, really have. Mm -hmm. but, uh, yeah, I'll tell you what I've never seen before, slightly off subject, is indoor uh, football like that. What did they call it? I think it was like indoor, wasn't it? Was it just indoor like league? Indoor indoor league, league wasn't it? Wasn't it? Mate, he said, yeah. Yeah. It was like short pitches, pitch, wasn't it? Pitch, that, but, uh, yeah, less no, players. Never seen that before. But, uh, but obviously the guy could play there. Yeah. You know, you just see his talent. It's just pure talent. He just couldn't shed that yeah. timber, could he? I know. It's, yeah. What a shame. But, but uh, when you yeah. look at him, although he was a big guy, it was a lot of fat he was carrying on it. Yeah. All, you yeah. see some of the other guys, and he went to that lineman, he said he weighs 320 or whatever. But he was just 320 pounds of muscle. Just all big everywhere. Big muscle, it, big guy. Yeah, yeah. He was 300 pounds of, you know, half it was fat. <clears throat> yeah, definitely. Have you ever but, been to the Heart Attack Grill in Las Vegas? No. If you weigh more than 240 pounds, you eat for free. Really? Really? <laughs> yeah. And it's like milkshakes that big, that are like butter milkshakes. The burgers are like, like <laughs> they've got an ambulance parked heart outside. Yeah. The, the, they own. And the, wow. own, the owner of it died of a heart attack. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. But when you go outside, the scales in front of it so you can weigh yourself before you walk in. But it's a big, you know, yeah. for everyone to see walking yeah. past. I, when I was there, I weighed myself and I was 202 pounds. But I don't know what that relates to in stone. For 16 anything. pounds in a stone. I'm not going to do that off the top of my head. <laughs> not on a Friday afternoon. <laughs> Either it's way, fourteen pounds in a stone, isn't it? Hmm? Is it fourteen pounds in a stone? Probably sixteen. It's like sixteen ounces in a pound, isn't it? <laughs> Maths well, lessons. I don't know. <laughs> Maths lessons with the office blokes. Either way, a lot of people were looking at me, going, "Jesus!" And I was like, "Is that heavy? I don't know." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Stuffing a burger in my face. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> go back now, you get your free burger, Dave. Oh, yeah, cheers, pal. <laughs> Only joking. <laughs> I eat because I'm sad and I'm sad because I eat. <laughs> it's a vicious circle out there. It really yeah, is. It is rough. Anyway, guys, yeah, how do you like that, that too? Good. And we think he's got talent. We, we, yeah, we could have come and played over here for the Manchester Titans. Yeah, why not? Have we got a game as a quarterback? Yeah, definitely. Anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe, hit the bell, and we'll catch you on the next one. Cheers, guys.